Great to see in the top 10. Uh, happy with that, that Max, you're going to go out of it? Yeah, very happy, very happy. Um, was in a rhythm very early in the session and then felt like we were, yeah, just getting through it. Um, felt like on the mediums, actually, that cut, that tyre suits us a bit more than the softs. The softs yesterday were overheating quite a lot. And then uh, today got through to Q3 on the mediums and then came uh, that final run, uh, overheating a little bit more than back to yesterday, but still happy to get P9, not P10, so, uh, so yeah. And how much confidence must you take from the fact that the medium's working well? Because that's going to be a good race star, isn't it? I think, it will, it will. So let, let's see. Um, maybe that's our downfall. Maybe we could get the mediums to switch on and other people couldn't. Um, makes sense. <laughs> so let's see. But uh, I think we're in a good place. The, the thing for us now is what do we do with our tyres? Because um, obviously we're in a much better starting position today than we are tomorrow. Do we go for it today or, or do we um, still try to play safe for tomorrow? But a really nice place to be in, I guess. At least you've got the chance to do it. Very good. I think coming into this weekend, we were a little bit, you know, downbeat. Just um, everyone bringing up grades and us falling down a little bit. So um, yesterday was a bit bleak and we, you know, we can't do much with the car or the tools on our car. But um, we did as much as we could and um, to get this result, um, you know, gives everyone a bit more momentum and um, juice for the rest of the season. Hey Pierre, made it into the top 10 today, do you reckon that was the max that you could have got out of the car? I'm, I'm really happy, we knew uh, we, we had used all our soft tyres, so we knew if we will make it to Q3 it will be very difficult to get uh, more than 10, but um, yeah, the target was to get in the, in the last top 10 and uh, yeah, we did some really good laps, I'm happy, Q1 was strong, Q2 was strong, um, and then yeah, Q3 was a good lap, but um, yeah, just uh, difficult with uh, no new tyre. With the way the kind of tyre allocation works, there could be a lot of opportunity, can there, I guess, going into the sprint, depending on how you want to use them, what are you kind of feeling? How, how aggressive do you think you want to go? Um, well, we're starting in, in good positions to this afternoon and, and later um, tomorrow. So, um, you know, obviously there's more points to, um, to grab tomorrow, but still we get a good chance uh, this afternoon. So I still need to discuss with the guys. I don't really know what's, uh, what's the, uh, the approach going to be, but um, yeah, we know top eight. Um, it's not easy to reach, but we will give our best shots and uh, hopefully we can get one or two points out of it. Hey, Orlando, just a tenth in it today. What's the overriding emotions? Frustration or do you reckon that was the most that you could have got out of it today? Uh, no, I'm happy with today. I still like happy with my lap than I was yesterday. So, uh, yeah, just the others are quicker than us, simple as that. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure no one did a perfect lap. Um, maybe a little bit again in turn one, but probably happier altogether than what I was yesterday, but in a worse position. So I think, uh, yeah, just not as strong as the, the other guys today. Um, it's still a good position, so I'm, I'm happy with uh, with P4 still up there. So uh, good position for the race today. What the team learnt, from what the team learnt yesterday from their homework and learnings from the kind of the ties, how they performed and what you could learn. How do you think the sprint could go? Because it's so close, isn't it, between you guys, Ferrari, Red Bull, Mercedes? Yeah, I mean, um, it's tough. I think uh, Mercedes and Red Bull will have the advantage. Um, I feel like you know the thing is, I think when you look back at uh, Qatar, we had very good race pace. Um, we could look after the tyres. Here I'm not uh, as confident in, in doing that and I think that will kind of come to the advantage of Mercedes who are always very good on tyres and, and of course the Red Bulls. But uh, we're still up there, we're still in for some good points. So uh, <laughs> we'll, um, yeah, we'll push for some points. I know it's not, not for a lot, but we'll do our best. That qualifying all together, it seemed like a little bit of a roller coaster. You had a little ups and downs, you were distracted by the radio. Let's take it back there first and foremost. How did that set the tone for the entire qualifying session? Yeah, it was definitely a scrappy uh, radio session. Some, we had a problem with the radio, so all of the engineers talking in the background, I was hearing some of my, on my fast laps. Um, <laughs> Not I had easy. My engineers coming on talking to me, so that was pretty distracting. And then in Q3, I had the, only the U set of tyres because I used an extra set yesterday. So all in all, I mean, the, the, the lap time wasn't too bad. It wasn't the perfect session, um, but there's, there's not a huge amount of points to play for today. As it relates to that floor upgrade, your comfort in the car, that's really all that you can really hope for at this point, going into the fact you haven't been able to change it. How comfortable are you really? Yeah, I think it's exciting going into tomorrow, starting P5. I think that's where we put in all, all the focus. Uh, we knew today was going to be tricky with uh, missing that extra set of tires, but still we'll, we'll fight. We'll see if there's any points to play for. Uh, but as I said, tomorrow's the, the big one. And before we even get to tomorrow, focusing on the sprint, what's it going to take? And hasn't even that concern, knowing um, that? No, you need, definitely need a good start. I think the, the first two laps are going to be going to be vital. Uh, we'll see what we can do from, from P8. Uh, but ultimately, you're not going to go too crazy because from P8, there's not a lot of, lot of points to play for. But 
probably the most important is getting the learning ahead of tomorrow yeah. where we can uh, fight for a podium. Hey Oscar, um, right in the mix in the top five, but is that kind of where you thought you were going to end up based on the pace of the car? Uh, yeah, I think you know clearly it was, was very tight again today. Um, just lacking a little bit in consistency this weekend, I would say. Um, just, just getting it together. Um, but yeah, um, I'm obviously happy that, happier than yesterday. Um, yeah, I think the pace in the car is, is good. It's just really, really hard to get it all together for everyone. So I'm um, not happy with, uh, with that performance. Do you think it's just the case of the split weekend? You obviously only had one practice. Couldn't quite maybe nail the setup or the direction you wanted in, in that first practice session? Uh, I think the setup of the car is pretty good. It's just the, the nature of the track, I think, and, and also having you know, an hour to, to learn the track on one set of tyres because yeah, you want to save all the others. Um, it, it makes things more difficult, definitely. Um, and just the bumpy nature of the track, you know, you, it's always much harder to predict how a car's going to react over bumps than a, a smooth track. So, um, yeah, just adding another challenge this weekend. So do you think this afternoon you can take the fight to Mercedes, to Ferrari, to maybe even Max up in front? I think it'll be pretty even on pace again, but we'll just have to see what the, the overtaking is like. Um, you know, I think us, Ferrari, Mercedes, Red Bull, all seem to be quite even on pace. Um, so, yeah, it, it, I think it's more going to be down to first lap, first corner and, and mistakes. Um, it's going to change positions. Daniel, welcome back to the Sprint format here within uh, Formula One. It's good to have you, but when you kind of take a look back, you said you were sorry for that P11 to your team. Why? <laughs> You're just coming it's, back, right? No, it's it's more... Um, no, to be honest, I, I, was, I was happy. I was happy with my lap, but... Um, it's kind of been a little bit of a inside joke with the team, you know. I've, obviously, I, I've only it's my third qualifying with them or third weekend, proper weekend. But I've watched, obviously, followed all season, and uh, P11 seems to be uh, <laughs> their favourite position in qualifying. Obviously, Yuki yesterday and me today. So, obviously, you you aim, especially in a position we're in, you know, Q3 is a is a big achievement for us and. When we get so close, it's it's like a big tease. So uh, P11 is is kind of <laughs> inside. It's like the worst <laughs> position we can be. So it was uh, a little bit of that. I know it's uh, it's kind of like finishing second. You know, you're like first loser. So that's a yeah. little bit the the joke that we have. But um, yeah, I think I was look. I was really happy with the the progress I made from especially yeah Q1 to Q2 and. From yesterday, we can't really change the car, but um, just did some homework last night, and we can still do a few things, you know, on the wheel with with switches, a little bit of brake balance or differential settings. So um, I think we made some good progress there, and I, I was able to push a little bit more confidently today. That confidence obviously does help. Doing a little homework, like you're saying, <laughs> you kind of take a comparison to you and Yuki. What were some of the differences out there in the car? I mean, it kind of seems like it flip flop from yesterday. Yeah, it was it was interesting. You know, I know that he didn't get his second lap. I, from what I was told, I think they missed the the line. But uh, so the first lap there was a bit of a difference. But I made a, it was a messy it was a messy first lap. So I think there was about four tenths difference that first one. But I knew uh, I knew there was a lot of time on the table. And I think the tire, to be honest, on the second lap with the first in Q1, the tire wasn't as good. But I uh, I made a good step. You know, with let's say cleaned up the lap. So. I think it put me back in the hunt and, and kind of got us into, just got us into Q2. And then, uh, so from that, you know, to be P15, P15, Q1, and then just nearly get into Q3 with P11, I think uh, it was actually a really good session. And as it relates into the sprint weekend, you're getting that chance to have a couple extra qualifying sessions, but as a driver coming back into it, is this the kind of weekend you would have wanted to come back into, or does it kind of produce a different set of challenges with it being a sprint weekend? Parts of it I like. Parts of it I don't in terms of, so I really liked that, especially coming off like the injury, just having one practice yesterday, yeah. just kind of gave me that stuff it attitude. Let's just That's go and, and kind of just send it and see what happens. So I think from that, it was good to just kind of throw me in the deep end and not let Make me- Make sure you swim. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Make sure I swim. Um, so from that, I liked it. I think last night, a little bit of frustration lied with, you know, we can't change the car really after FP1. Once we start qualifying, that's it. So there was definitely some things after quali, which I would have loved to have tried, you know, for today in terms of setup, some things I felt in the car. Uh, so that was, um, that's where I, I wish it was a conventional weekend. Sure. But um, look, I think the progress we made today with very, very small changes is, is positive. Carlos, you're back in the car here this weekend. It's good to see you. As you kind of take a look into the sprint weekend here, you've been consistent, right? That third, that fourth, that fifth, that sixth. Now what's it going to take to get that first, second position? Uh, I think we, we clearly need to work a bit on 
On, uh, we would have needed to work a bit on the qualifying pace because we, we, we're not where we want to be. Uh, always a couple of tens behind, especially with the soft tyre. Uh, yeah, just not feeling completely comfortable in sector one and, and in the last sector, but with the tyres and all the overheating and the, the bouncing that we have. But apart from that, you know, we've had a couple of clean, clean sessions. We are in decent positions to try and move forward in the race. You talk apart from that, those are also a few challenges, the bumps and the heat and everything else. What, why is this track so challenging right now in the big picture of it all? Uh, for me, it's great fun. It's just obviously <laughs> when, you, when you have a car that gives you confidence, it's a lot more fun than when it doesn't. And this weekend for me, we haven't quite nailed the, the feeling with the car. And yeah, we, we have some work to do. Obviously with the sprint rules, Park for me, we cannot really change much. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, it's, it's what it is, but I think in the race things are going to change and we can be quicker. Esteban, just talk me through that session. There seems to be a lot of frustration because I feel like there was more in the car and it could have been so much better. Yeah, there was, uh, there was more, but not in this run. For some reason, I just arrived in turn one and, uh, and had no grip in comparison to, to what there was um, in the previous run where we were easily in the top 10. So, yeah, very frustrating uh, lap. Only one chance, uh, obviously, to have. And... You know, once you have a, a bad uh, corner um, where you will spin, then you carry that through uh, the rest of the lap and, and the grip was just not there. So, um, yeah, don't really know what to say, but uh, yeah, it has been a, a poor Q2 for sure. Any kind of reason why you think the grip just went away in that it could be It could be many things. could be, um, you know, the tyre prep, could be uh, you know, the outlap uh, that was different. Um, but uh, yeah, for sure. There's, uh, there's things to dig into for us and to understand. So how tough is this afternoon going to be for you starting from where you are? don't know. Um, I mean, there is going to be uh, always opportunities in that first lap. Um, you know, turn 11 is, is a very wide corner. Turn 1 uh, is also quite wide. Um, so, uh, you know, we're going to try and get a good start and see from there. Joe, how frustrated are you that you weren't able to make any more progress in qualifying today? Uh, I was until Lance blocked me, so... Pretty straightforward. Uh, potential was there for P10, P11, very similar to yesterday. He f***ed up his lap, sorry for the language. <laughs> he destroyed his lap and then he decided to stay on mid of the track from all the way from 14 to 16. So I just lost two and a half then because of him. And uh, otherwise was uh, potential for Q3, as Q3. And then we had a good chance with, you know, the new soft compared to some of these others. So a bit frustrating, really. Is it something you're going to have a chat to him about? Not really. I don't think it's the first time he did that. So we just go move forward yeah Back really just do it really i'm really frustrated and sorry that it was the case but there must be some positives to take going into the rest of the weekend that the car seemed a bit more alive today yeah i mean we seem to have the very similar pace on both compound that's the promising thing we was able to make a step this weekend so i do feel like uh you know we have a very good p potential over the, this weekend and uh yeah, looking forward to the race today and uh, just to learn from that. And the main focus, of course, was the higher starting grid tomorrow. That would be the biggest topic. Yuki, what happened out there? Just heard your frustration on the radio. Just, yeah, what was going on? Well, I didn't take the second, second, um, I couldn't do any second push because uh, we finished, well, um, the lights, well, session finished just before I crossed the line. So, um, yeah just a minute miss uh, communication everything and yeah um, just lost the easy opportunity to going through Q2 because at the moment is the car feeling all right around here yeah uh, it's good at least I easy to go through Q2 at least so yeah uh, it's pretty shame um, but yeah we tend to always uh, get put it we tend to always uh, hard to put it all together in uh, spring qualifying so yeah just have to figure out why because it's always some, something like this so Kevin, just difficult times out there. I think you won a personal best on that final run, but obviously it just wasn't quite enough to get through. Just talk me through how it was. Yeah, I mean, out in, out in Q1, uh, both cars um, yesterday looked looked a bit better, so a little surprised about the uh, lack of pace here, but let's see uh, let's see how it goes in the sprint race. How did the kind of work go overnight? I know you can't change the car, but did the team seem to have a bit of an understanding about what was going wrong yesterday or not working as well as you'd liked? Um... No, I think, you know, it's difficult. You can't change anything. So uh, uh, I think, you know, you, you're trying to prepare as well as you can for these sessions that are today and, and the race tomorrow. Uh, and then hopefully we can, you know, find some some uh, improvements for, for the next race when we can change the car again. Uh, part, part of kind of the learning of this upgrade is hopefully that it'll be better in race pace. So I guess even if you can't change the car with what you've got, you can still learn plenty in the sprint and tomorrow's Grand Prix, can't you? Yeah, now we're hoping, you know, we get at least one this one stint on on a set of tyres in the sprint race and uh, uh, yeah, I'm uh, 
curious to see see how we go and how, how the car is in, in race condition. Fernando, I know you had a difficult day yesterday. Were you expecting much of the same today? And did the car feel much the same? Even I know you can't change it. <laughs> yeah, obviously we cannot change anything on the car. So pretty similar feeling. Uh, and obviously lacking still practice. Uh, yesterday only two laps in Q1. Today uh, three laps uh, between Q1 and Q2. So you know, obviously when you miss qualifying on Friday, uh, you are on the back foot also on the qualifying on Saturday because you didn't um, optimize, you know, flap and. and uh, uh, driving a style on, on low fuel, but uh, you know, uh, P12 is what we had today uh, in quality. Let's see on the race. From a mindset perspective, how do you kind of tackle the rest of the weekend when you know, look, this car's locked into this really difficult situation for yourself? Um, yeah, obviously, it is disappointed, and uh, um, you just uh, yeah, try to complete the laps and hopefully score some points, but I think it's going to be probably no points this weekend uh, for us, so it's, it is painful. Um, Obviously, we took a lot of risk um, bringing the new package with only uh, one free practice, and obviously, we are pre paying uh, the price of, of, of that, you know, in the in the worst way possible. But um, you know, we are here to uh, to win, not to just score a few points every weekend. So sometimes we have to take these uh, bold decisions, and uh, hopefully, pay the, the the price will be will be paid at the end of the year if we have more information about this package.